Green tea frappuccinos are one of my favorite drinks to order at Starbucks, but it can get really expensive if you want to treat yourself every day. So today I'm partnering with Epic Matcha to show you guys how to make a delicious green tea frappuccino at home. Think of it as a copycat recipe because it's going to taste really similar to what you'd find at Starbucks. So if you guys are interested, keep watching. For this drink, we're going to be making a grande frappuccino serving size. Now I could have gone with a tall, but talls just aren't enough for me, so grande it is. We'll start with half a cup of ice cubes, one cup of ice cold milk. Now Starbucks uses whole milk in their frappuccino recipe, but you can use 2% or another dairy alternative if you'd like. Three tablespoons of organic cane sugar, three teaspoons of quality matcha powder. Now I'm using Epic Matcha's culinary grade organic matcha powder, which has a really nice taste and is great for drinks and desserts. And finally, a splash of vanilla. Now just cover and blend for a few seconds until well combined. Okay, that looks pretty well blended there. Now just pour it into a serving cup. And don't forget to top it off with some whipped cream. And if you'd like, maybe a splash of matcha right on the top to give it a splash of color. So that's how easy it is to make a green tea frappuccino at home. Now if you normally customize your Starbucks drinks, you can also do so with this recipe. Sometimes I like to add a little less sugar or even use a non-dairy choice like soy milk or even coconut milk. I'm Angel, thank you guys so much for watching and if you are interested in trying this drink recipe, check out my video description. I have a printable recipe on my blog and I'll leave you a link to where you can find out more about Epic Matcha. Until then, cheers! Mmm, so good.